Google I.O. is in the books and here's the biggest stuff that happened. How's it going everybody? This is Dave LeClaire with MEO Tech Bytes and we are gonna do an all Google edition of the show today because Google I.O.'s first day just happened yesterday and Google showed off and announced all sorts of good stuff. So here is the biggest things that happened from Google I.O. that we think you need to know about. So the first thing we need to talk about is Android 12. Google announced that the beta for the OS is coming and just like that, boom, the beta has made its way to select phones including many of the Pixel devices and a few other phones that are not Google Pixel branded. So if you own one of these devices which are now scrolling down your screen, you can download the Android 12 beta and give it a shot. Now obviously keep in mind, this is beta software. It's not gonna run perfectly on your device. It is not the final release that will come when Android 12 actually launches. But if you can't wait and you really want to get the latest and greatest version of Android on your phone, you can give it a shot right now. Here's how Google describes the latest version of Android. Android 12 builds on everything you love about Android and focuses on building a deeply personal phone that adapts to you, developing an operating system that is secure by default and private by design, and making all of your devices work better together. So one of the cool things coming to Android 12 is better customization options. You can tweak the phone's color palette and really give it a look that says this is my phone and nobody else's. There's also lag-free animations coming to Android 12, which will basically just give your phone a smoother look and feel as you're moving about the OS. The notification shade and quick settings got brand new options that will make using them a little bit more pleasant. And importantly, there's all kinds of new privacy options for your phone because you wanna lock that phone down, make sure your information is secure as possible. So if you have one of the devices that is compatible with the Android 12 beta, you can install it right now and see what you think. Now, of course, it wasn't just Android at Google I.O. Google has a lot of services. And one thing that's getting a nice little upgrade is Google Maps, which is going to get a feature now that would allow you to choose the safest route. Normally, you can choose the fastest route, the shortest route, all that kind of stuff. But now, there's gonna be a routing option that will take you the safest route. So basically, what the safe routing option is gonna do is it's going to allow Google to show you routes using traffic and weather and road conditions and other aspects that will help you get to your destination as safely as possible. After all, that is the most important thing. Sure, it's nice to shave a minute or two off your drive, but it's more important that you get there with your car and yourself in one piece. Google announced that it is partnering with Samsung and the two are gonna to come together and create a brand new wearable operating system that sounds quite promising. It looks like it'll fix most of the problems of Wear OS and possibly give the Apple Watch a run for its money. But Google plans to add improved performance, better battery life, and even more customization to Wear OS thanks to its partnership with Samsung. It will also be improving its fitness tracking data because if you remember, Google purchased Fitbit, which is a company synonymous with fitness tracking, and it looks like Google's gonna leverage that acquisition to make Wear OS better for people who wanna keep track of their exercise. The next Galaxy Watch is scheduled to run Wear OS and Fitbit devices are gonna run the new Wear OS as well. So if you're looking forward to trying out a Google wearable operating system that actually functions the way that it's supposed to and isn't quite so flawed like the current version of Wear OS, this is definitely something to be excited about. And finally, Google announced Smart Canvas, which is a new tool that will take slides, it will take sheets, and it will take docs, and it'll smush them all together and allow teams to seamlessly work on all three different applications from one workspace. So you won't need to have a slides document running in this tab and docs over here. You'll have this one workspace that will automatically switch between them based on what you're doing. Additionally, Google Meet is going to play a bigger part of workspace where now you'll be able to hop onto a call directly from the document that you're working on so you can even further collaborate with people. It'll make it even easier to get on a chat if you got an issue and you're like, hey man, you didn't do this right, ah, and instead of having to type it all out, you can quickly hop on a call, resolve the issue, and keep everybody working efficiently and effectively, which is really what you're going for if you're using Workspace. There's a lot going on with this update, so make sure to check out the MUO article in the description. It gives you a detailed breakdown of everything that will be coming with this new Smart Canvas and exactly how it works. It sounds quite promising. It sounds like Google has some really good ideas with this one, and hopefully it will help make working from home a more pleasant experience for everybody. And with that, folks, this all Google episode of MUO Tech Bytes is in the books. This has been Dave LeClaire bringing you the latest from the world of technology news. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you will give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will subscribe to MUO's YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you know when there's new episodes of MUO Tech Bytes because we drop this show five days a week for you and I will see you in the next one.